My name is George Hubert. I currently live in Hinckley, and I served in the 4th Infantry Division in Vietnam from July of 1969 to July of 1970. When I was inducted, meaning drafted, it involved a two-year commitment. If you enlisted at that time, it was a three-year commitment. And basically what I was doing at the time, I had, I had completed my undergraduate degree and I was going to go to graduate school, and I wanted to minimize the time that I spent between undergraduate school and graduate school. So that's, you know, at, at that particular time, that seemed like the logical choice that I could just do the two-year commitment. In basic training, which was eight weeks long, I went from 180 pounds to 220 pounds. Now that was a combination of a lot of carbohydrates in your diet, and the food was really good, and plenty of exercise. So those two things together, I put on 40 pounds in two months. And it was, believe me, it was all muscle. It wasn't, it wasn't any flab. If you were drafted at the time I was inducted, you either went into the Marines or you went into the Army. And the way the Marines were selected was they usually pulled a fellow out of the induction center and gave him a list of names. And they said, pick 10 of these names. He said, okay, and he went down the list and the, and the sergeant that was there said, okay, you just picked the Marines for today, but I won't tell them. I had a good friend from high school, and we graduated together. And I went to a small high school, 38 graduating class. Uh, it was at Hingley Big Rock. I happened to be the valedictorian, and this friend was the salutorian. And he went to school at the University of Illinois in engineering, and he was there for two years. And then he joined the Marines, and just about a year after he was in the Marines, he was killed in Vietnam. Hopefully you'll incorporate a picture of another individual that was my platoon leader in Vietnam. And he was about 24, 25 years old. He was a second lieutenant. Uh, Army slang for a second lieutenant is called a butter bar because they got a gold, little gold bar on their shoulders. He was from New Jersey. His name was Gary Dempsey, one of the nicest men I ever met. And uh, he was killed on New Year's Day, 1970, and uh, gave his life for his country. A Montagnard village, and many times if they were friendly to the American forces, we actually guarded those villages to prevent the North Vietnamese from coming in and, and taking those people away or, or killing them. When you're in the Army, everything is temporary, okay? The Army, when, it, when it's in a situation like Vietnam, they never make anything permanent. It's always temporary. And I quickly learned that you can do anything in dry weather that you can do when it's pouring down rain. The only difference is you get a little wetter when it's raining. Um, I've got little hat pins there on my cap. Um, the one that I'm the most proud of is what's called a Combat Infantryman's Badge. And then I also received a Bronze Star for Meritorial Service and also in what they call an ARCOM, Army Commendation Medal, same thing. And I look at those two, the Bronze Star and the Army Commendation Medal, and the way I best describe them is it's for trying to help your buddies out. And other than that, there's some routine ones that everybody that went to Vietnam got. There's a Vietnam Cross of Gallantry, a Vietnam Service Medal, a National Defense Service Medal. And when you get discharged, if you haven't caused any trouble, you get a good conduct medal.